My name is Bill Ayers. I'm a retired professor from the University of Illinois at Chicago. You know, one of the things that astonishes me is that we spend so much time trying to sort and judge and test and measure kids, when in reality, every human being is of incalculable value. Every human being is on a journey from point A to point B. And what we need to do is capture that sense of dynamism and that sense of, of forward motion. So I like to say that every student who comes into my classroom is an unruly spark of meaning-making energy. And so that means that our assessments are always partial, contingent, unfinished, and always seen as kind of pictures in motion, blurry, a little blurry around the edges, not trying to sum anybody up. The problem with the obsession with testing that we have in the schools uh, today is that they, they operate on a very false premise. And, and one of the things I learned as a teacher is that um, a, a, a performance metric only works as a performance metric if you don't use it as a performance metric. Now that sounds paradoxical and it kind of is, but what does it mean? It means that if you say that the performance metrics say is that in a hospital, if you live 30 days beyond a major surgery, that's a good hospital. The universe you're interested in is a good hospital. The performance metric is stays alive for 30 days after open heart surgery. The problem with that metric is you can bend your entire enterprise to keeping people alive and on day 31 and 32, they all drop dead. This is true in schools. So somebody will say, we have a great high school here because we send 100% of our kids to college. Then you look a little closer and you notice that actually everybody has been geared to sending kids to college, but what counts as college is fraudulent. Um, how they, uh, the number of kids they, they push out is huge and so on. The performance metric is goes to college. The universe that you're interested in is the good high school. So my argument in my own classrooms is I don't want to reduce things to a simple performance metric, a standardized test, a single metric. I want to say, let's take a look at the whole environment. Let's take a look at everything that's going on, all the relationships and all the curiosity that gets unleashed. That's how I want to judge my own classroom.